Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discussing about data sufficiency with a different model. Uh, previously, we have discussed about the problems uh, uh, with a different way of uh, asking the question. Here, uh, the in the previous sessions, we have discussed about uh, uh, some uh, constant uh, options are given based on that uh, question followed by statement. Here also question followed by statement will be there but options are different. Uh, here only thing is way of asking the question format is different uh, but only but uh, the questions how you are solving uh, previously the same pattern you, are, you will be followed here also but uh, way of asking the question is different. Uh, this is very important. Uh, so please be listen carefully. Here if you read the sentence carefully, uh, these directions, in each of the following problem, there is uh, one question and uh, three statements followed by one, two, three given below and you can decide whether the data given in statement is sufficient to answer the question. Read all the statement carefully and find the statements uh, is uh, sufficient to answer the question. Choose the correct alternative according to the question. That is the uh, uh, information about these kind of questions right let's see the first question in this what does uh, come represent what does come represent in a code language here this problem is belongs to coding and decoding you want to find the code for come first of all check it out uh, if you uh, these kind of problems it is better to go with the option verification method what is the first option only one and two only 1 and 2 in the sense you can combine both 1 and 2, right? In 1 and 2, here come is there, here come is there, but uh, here come is not there and also any common quotes, end is not there, go is not there. So, you cannot say exactly what is the code for come, whether it is pit or else na or else tab. We don't know exactly, right? So, you can eliminate option A. Next, uh, second one. Option B, only 2 and 3, only 2 and 3. Here, in 2 and 3, you are good, you are good. And uh, third one, you can come. Here, come is there, here, come is there. And there is a common code that is you. There is a common code that is uh, you. What is the common code in these uh, two? Common code that is uh, J A J A is not there T A T A is not there D A right D A so Y O U which is equal to D A Y O U which is equal to D A so come is not D A so come is either N A or R A C so you don't get the code for come for this question by using option to also by using option to also you are not able to get the answer even though you are combining uh, both statements 2 and uh, 3 so you can eliminate option B also now you can combine 1 and 3 1 and 3 options in 1 and 3 only one word is common that is come only one word that is come Come is the common word in both 1 and 3 and remaining 2 are not there. Now you can find uh, what is the common code in both 1 and 3. That is uh, NA. NA is the common code. NA is the common code which is there in both the uh, first and uh, third statement. Therefore, come is equal to NA. That is the code for come. So, you are getting the answer by combining both 1 and 3 statements. Therefore, that is your required answer. Option C is the right answer. Let's move on to the next question. See here. How is date? How is date written in that code language? Here, this problem is also belongs to coding and decoding. See, first option. Only 1 and 2. Guys, uh, Whenever these kind of options are there, I will explain uh, what kind of options. Uh, only one and uh, either two or three or else uh, uh, a only one and either two or three. It means you, you will get the answer by using one, one and two or else one and uh, three. That is the meaning of this uh, option D. 
that is the meaning of option D. You will get the answer by using 1 and 2 or else 1 and 3. That is the meaning of option D. So, first we will go with the option A. See, it is, if you observe carefully, if you observe carefully, E A R, E A R, E A R. Three letters, E A R. Three letters are common in all three statements if you observe carefully. What are the codes for that? That is uh, hash at the rate question mark. So, we don't know which letter is belongs to which code. Which letter is belongs to which code but definitely these are the three letters and their codes are uh, hash at the rate uh, and uh, Question mark. So, obviously, D is equal to dollar. D is equal to dollar and T is repeated twice. So, obviously, one more letter that is percentage. T is equal to percentage. Here, you will get uh, D and T. You will get uh, codes for D and T, but you will not get uh, exact codes for E and A. Why? Because if you want uh, the code for date, uh, you will get for these two. But you will not get exact uh, codes for these two. For these two, either it is a combination of these two or else it is a combination of these two or else it is a combination of first one and uh, last one. We cannot say exactly. Even though you are combining all the three, even though you are combining all the three, you will not get the exact uh, result. So, you are required answer without any hesitation, without checking any option. Directly your answer is option E. None of this. Why? Because uh, even though you are combined, you are taking 1 and 2 or else you are taking 2 and 3, you are taking all 3 or else you are taking uh, only 1 and 2 or else 1 and uh, 3. Even then also, you will not get uh, exact logic for this one. So, the required answer is option E is the right answer. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.